gonna be flat out honest with you guys. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. This right here is probably the coolest moment in my entire career, period, as a YouTuber or a video artist in general or, or, or a public figure or whatever you want to call it. This is probably the coolest moment right here. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if I peaked. I don't know if I peaked. I don't know if this is the peak right here, man. If it's gonna get any cooler than this. Um, you know, next level would literally have to be, uh, Sega contacting me about something. But, like, literally this is probably one of the coolest moments ever in the history of my channel. That's for sure. Hey Slayers, I'm the world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64 and welcome back to another video. So, uh, yeah, we we've got a lot to talk about in this video, and I felt there would be no better way to talk about it than using good old Sonic Jam. And the reason we're going to use Sonic Jam here is just because it, it makes the most sense, in my opinion, for what we have to talk about today. So, um, yeah, to put it simply, nice and sweet for you guys, um... Well, let's just put this nice and... Uh, I, 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 I talked to the creator of Sonic. <laughs> I, I, I really do not know how to put this any better than how I just put it. I literally got to talk to Yuji Naka. And there's a very good reason as to why. Okay? As to why. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it right now. So, essentially, let, let's just be... Let, I'm just going to be... I shouldn't have chose Sonic. I didn't mean to choose Sonic. Uh, I don't want to choose Sonic. Restart game. Restart the game. I don't want to be Sonic. So essentially, right? Uh, for year, I'm gonna. Uh, this entire thing is going to be. Um, this entire thing is going to be uh, very oversimplified. Oversimplified is the best way I think I'm gonna put this. So this entire thing is gonna be extremely oversimplified. But putting this in the most blatant terms ever, right? Putting this in the most blatant terms ever. For years upon years, well, okay, back in 1994, right, coming off the strong su- Why is Knuckles going super slow? Why is he going super slow? Okay, look, coming off the strong success of Sonic 2, and Sonic as a brand still being super popular, Sega knew they had to release one more game for the Genesis. Well, not really one more game. I, I, they, okay, look, s okay, oh, okay, I'm just going to be honest with you guys, okay? Sega released Sonic 3 back in 1994, right? Now, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, coming off the success of Sonic the Hedgehog 2... Why is this game lagging? I, I genuinely cannot tell you. Coming off the success of Sonic... You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna exit this. I don't know why this game is lagging really, like, like really bad like this. I... Look, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm oversimplifying things. Okay, I'm, I'm going... Why, why is this running so slow? Time out. Off. I don't know what that is. Um, let's, let's just go easy, okay? No, okay. So with Sega, right, still seeing the popularity in Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic officially being announced as their mascot, it only made sense for after the extreme success of Sonic 2 that Sega released a third installment into the series, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. It was planned to be Sega's biggest title. It was planned to be Sonic's biggest title ever, and it was gonna revolutionize Sega Genesis gameplay. And it was just going to be a huge game all together. But Sega, but Sega being cheap and running out of time, well, essentially Sonic Team designed the game a little bit too big. It was a little too ambitious, you could say, right? So, essentially, the game wouldn't fit on a standard 2 megabyte or 2 megabit cartridge. And um, Sega not wanting to print the game, on all, all, all copies of the game, on a 4 megabit cartridge because it was more expensive. And also, Sega not wanting to... Um, I feel like I missed something. And uh, oh yeah, and also Sega not uh you know not wanting to have to delay the game any sooner. They made the conscious decision to split the game into two parts. So what we ended up with was Sonic the Hedgehog 3 in 1994, February 1994 and Sonic and Knuckles in October 1994 and they added a cool feature for Sonic and Knuckles called Son uh, Lock on Technology. And again, this is very oversimplified, so my Sonic slash Sega enthusiasts out there, don't, 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 don't hate on me in the comments, okay? But, um, yeah, they decided to release uh, Sonic 3 and Sonic uh, and Knuckles as two separate games, even though they were always meant to be and always were considered one game. One game. So, Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles are actually one game, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And for years, the debate, there has been a large debate online 
Essentially, the debate stands like this, right? Half half of the people believe that Sonic 3 and Knuckles is one game, so just solely Sonic 3. So when I say Sonic 3, I'm one of those people, for example. So when I say Sonic 3, I am automatically referring to Sonic 3 and Knuckles at one time. I consider it to be one sole game, you know. Sonic 3 is Sonic 3. You know, it, it's, it's, it's almost similar to, um... Like in the episode that has part uh, part one and part two, they're still technically the same episode. Just one is titled part two, the other is titled uh, you know part one. But I consider Sonic Three and Knuckles to be one game. Sonic and Knuckles almost being like DLC. So whenever I say Sonic Three, I'm referring to Sonic Three and Knuckles as a whole and not one half of the game. And specifically, right now the other camp out there, <coughs> lay mo to you. The other camp out there are used essentially that the game is two different ga or three different games and that there's Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3 and Knuckles and that all three of them are different games and they're not the same game and yada 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 blah 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 a, a bunch of just redundancy that kind of makes zero sense it has always made zero sense to me but hey it's what they like to preach right so so be it right so for years upon years i've said this is not true this makes zero sense and i was on one of i was on the camp that just said you know sonic 3 is one game it's always it was designed to be one game it was meant to be one game it is one game right and so you know this debate has just been raging back and forth since the games were released probably you know what i'm saying and and i, I decided i just could not take this anymore i i can't particularly Lamo to you. Okay, I'm gonna be honest here. Lamo to you believes that the game is two different games, and I believe that the game is one different game, right? And this debate has just been going on for many years by many people, and so I, I, that's right, the world's coolest second enthusiast, has decided. You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna take this anymore. I'm not going to to uh, go back and forth, even though, right? Even though I should mention, Sega in the past has always stated that Sonic 3 and Knuckles or is just one game. There's not three games. There's not. It, it, it was always designed to be one game. It, it is one game, regardless of how you look at it. Sega themselves have stated this in the past. And whenever they release Sonic 3, they don't just release Sonic 3. If you get the game, every incarnation of the game after the Genesis version had the game bundled. So, for example... For example, the PC version had the two all together as one game. So there wasn't there wasn't a Sonic 3 and a Sonic and Knuckles that you could buy on PC. It was all one game. It has always the way it was intended, it was intended to be played as one game. It is one game, right? And I have compared I've said in the past that there are things you can compare this to, right? For example, Sonic the Hedgehog 4 as just another Sonic example, right? Although that game is trash, it is still, the, the game was meant to have three or four episodes, and the game only has two episodes, but those two episodes are still considered one game, even though you can pay for them separately, and play them separately, and that you're not required to play episode one to be able to play episode two, or you're not required to play episode one, or you're not required to play episode one to be able to play episode two. You're just not required to. And for years upon years, I have stated that this is just how, um, how it is, you know what I'm saying? There's other cases too. There's other cases out there too. A, a perfect example would be Telltale. You, when you buy a Telltale game, let's just say Batman the Telltale series, for example, you can buy episode five of the tell of Batman the Telltale series and never touch any of the other episodes, and you can just play episode five by itself. I've compared this these two these things and sure these are later games but still i've compared this for years upon years upon years and you can acquit you can uh, you can um you know if you want to compare it like this you could also just say sonic and knuckles is like dlc for um sonic the hedgehog 3 but let's get to the point of this video right the the part you're all here for okay so this debate has been raging for years including including uh, between me and Lemo to you and in my quest to prove that I am right. I decided there was only one place I could go. One thing to do. One fable little task. And that was, oh, well, how do you prove this, right? Because no amount of articles, no amount of, um, you know, 
persuasion has changed the minds of any of the people who believe that Sonic 3 is two or three different games because I've heard some people actually say it's just two different games and that Sonic 3 and Knuckles is just a combination of both games and I've heard people say it's three different games in a multi-use case so you know well, I'm here to prove all of those theories wrong today and prove to you that the game is one game and so who better to go to than the main man himself the design, the lead programmer, the father of Sonic, the man who practically, who literally made the dang game himself, who better to go to than that's right, the one, the only, Yuji Naka, the father of Sonic, like, this man is it, man, like, I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I, to give you an equivalent, right? Yuji Naka is the Sega, which Shigeru Miyamoto is the Nintendo, or, 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 or which Stone Cold Steve Austin is the WWE, or even if you want to say what John Cena is the WWE, or, 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 what, or the, what The Rock is to acting, or freaking, uh, oh, the point is, this man is like, he, he, he's the GOAT of Sega. He's always been the GOAT of Sega, in my opinion, like, literally, just for how many titles he put out, you know what I'm saying? Amazing titles, from all the original classic Sonic games, to Sonic Adventure 1, to Nights in the Dreams, to Sonic Adventure 2, he, he, this man was the lead of Sonic Team for years, man, and he is by far, he is by far what I consider to be I just realized this is Sonic uh, Easy. Okay, so this is Sonic. Um, this is that's where Sonic went Easy Mode. The ROM comes from. No, no, no. The point is, this is what I consider to be the GOAT of Sega, and a, a sort of. I, I hate to say. It, I, I don't hate to say it. I'm actually pretty proud to say it. What I would have called a. Ch if you would have asked me who my childhood hero was, I probably would have said Yuji Naka, because I mean, this man is literally the father of Sonic. The 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 the. the like the goat of Sega, like uh, it, it can be that can be uh, heavily debated, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but there's one thing that can't be de debated. I mean, this man is the goat of Sonic the Hedgehog. Like this man made the classic games, you know what I'm saying? Or at least, uh, like you, you can't. You, there's there's no denying it. And so since I decided that you know the only only person who could truly answer this question, although Sega themselves has already answered the question more than one. I decided I was going to go to the creator of said game, Yuji Nakam himself, to see what he thinks. And so that's what I did. And believe it or not, this man actually gave me a response. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut the camera for a second. I'm gonna cut, and then we're gonna go, and we're gonna see his response, and then we're gonna talk about it, okay? So, um, yeah, see you back in a second. Um, so yeah, I'm back, I'm back, and here we go, man, here we go. So as you can see right here, this is Yuji Naka's Twitter. I'm following him, you know, father of Sonic, you know, Sonic Knight PSO, Square Enix, you know, Balin Wonder World, you know, just tons and tons of stuff. This man is literally, like, what I would consider, if not the GOAT of SEGA, one of the GOATs of SEGA, because there are a good, there's a good number of them, but like, this, this is the real deal, man. 42,000 followers, he has a verification check mark, and I decided it was time to answer the question once and for all, and ask this man what he thought, and he actually replied to me, and we're, we're gonna check it out today. And just to prove to you, just because I, I know there's gonna be some people out here who say, oh, well, uh, Sega Slayer, Sega Slayer, uh, you're lying, this isn't true, you're, you're not really talking to Yuji Naka. Just to prove to you, we are actually on the Twitter page, we are on his real Twitter, you know what I'm saying, all his photos are here, and, uh, I'll, I'm not gonna make any cuts during this or anything like that, so we're gonna go to my messages here, and we're gonna click Yuji Naka. And we're actually gonna click his account here, and you can see it takes me directly to his account, if we go over here, you can see right here, this man still has his verification, uh, his verification check mark. Okay, so essentially, what I said was this. I said, hello, Mr. Yuji Naka. And uh, again, uh, this might sound a little weird because I was a bit nervous, you know what I'm saying? This is literally the creative Sonic here, and I didn't know how to, how, to, how to go about wording this. So if this sounds a little bit off or weird or strange, yeah, that's because I just didn't know how to go about wording this. So I said, hello, Mr. Yuji Naka. 
I am a small time Sega themed YouTube channel. So, you know, just, just to show that I am actually someone, I, I don't know if I want it to sound a bit official, but I guess I kind of did want to sound a bit official, to be honest with you. But I said, hello, Mr. Yuji Naka. I'm a small time Sega themed YouTube channel with a small community. I was wondering if you could spare a second of your busy schedule to answer a question I've and my community has always had. I know I worded it had a bit weird, again, nervousness. And I was just like typing this out. Uh, typing this out has always had it's very simple and if anyone could answer it i figured you the father of sonic could the question is do you personally consider the game of sonic the hedgehog 3 so sonic the hedgehog 3 to be one game or three different games what i mean by this is do you consider sonic 3 and sonic and knuckles to be one game only being sonic 3 so what i kind of meant what i meant by this is do you consider sonic and knuckles and sonic 3 to be one singular game or do you consider it to be multiple games together or and, you know they just confuse together in the one game I said, so do you consider Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles to be one game only being Sonic 3? Or do you consider it to be three different games being Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Sonic and Knuckles, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles? I would, appre I, I would appreciate it if you could spare some time to answer this long rumor question and thank you. And lo and behold, this man got back to me. The father of Sonic, and he actually replied pretty pretty quickly. So I actually sent this message at twelve eighteen a.m. yesterday, and this man replied to me seven o one a.m. my time, but I'm sure it wasn't seven o one in the morning for his time. But the point is, he replied to me, and this man just gave the most legendary response ever. It says, "I think Sonic Three and Knuckles is one game." He said R, but you know, I'm I'm sure you know this man speaks Japanese. It's his first language one of the greatest languages in the world and so you know English, i understand what i uh, we all understand what he meant but he said i think sonic 3 and knuckles are one game so is he meant is one game Expl exclamation mark so uh, i think this right here if anything regardless of how you look at it this is the creator of uh literally the game himself and he said thank you and i said thank you so much for your answer and your time and so he, he I mean, this right here, if this isn't the most objective thing ever, if this isn't the most objective thing ever, like, at this point, I I feel, coming from the literal creator's mouth himself, from the head of Sega himself, regardless of what anyone's opinion is nowadays, regardless of how you feel, what you believe, how you, how you think it is, and what you think is going on and how you think how you want to see it and if you want to still believe that it's two games and that you literally disregard the creator of sonic the hedgehog 3 the father of sonic himself if you disregard what he has to say at this point you know you're you're just stuck in your own ways and it's just not true objectively objectively coming from the own creator's mouth Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is one game, not two, not three, regardless of what time, what came out, blah, 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 it is one single game, it's undeniable, objectively, it's one game, this is from the creator himself, Sega themselves have already said this multiple times, multiple times, but I just needed confirmation from the actual creator himself, the father of Sonic, and at this point, no, no amount of, I, I'm done with the entire debate. I've made my case. It's objective. I, I believe it's objective now that since the creator said it, I'm done with this entire debate. Debate. I'm not going to, I'm not going to play it into it anymore, regardless of how I, how anyone else sees it to me. And to, I think a lot of people and to the creator himself and to Sega themselves, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is one game and will always be one game that being said though uh yeah i know it was kind of i hope this wasn't underwhelming or anything i like this was the coolest moment in the world i mean did we even receive a response back at all like whoever would have thought i would have received a response from yuji freaking naka like some of you might be saying that's not that cool that is literally something that i never like i'm sure you or you literal youtubers with giant followings have not received responses back from this man and a small YouTuber with barely 269, 269 subscribers received a response back from the literal father of Sonic. I, my mind is still blown. 
again, at this point, I'm pre I'm I'm calling it. It's objective. It cannot be denied. You can try to deny it all you want to, because let's be honest here. This is lame mode too. We're talking about this man's not gonna cave. But to me, at this point, it's undeniable. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is one single game consisting of Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3. It's one game. It's always was designed to be one game. There's only one game, and that's Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Period. So, um, yeah, let me know if you agree with me down in the comments below. Let me know if you disagree. You can disagree all you want to. Still objective. Let me know if you agree with me down in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, this is probably, this might be the peak of my channel. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not even a thousand subscribers, and we might have already peaked. I, I, I don't know, man. Uh, if you're new here, if you can subscribe, that would be really awesome. We're trying to reach three. Actually, no, no, no. Before I go, before I go, I actually want to just say a huge thanks to you, Dinaka, for taking his time away from his busy, his busy schedule to actually report apply to such a small youtuber as of myself you know what i'm saying i even said i was a small youtuber and this man took time out of his day to reply to me it's so it's so mind-blowing and you don't understand how much of a childhood dream this is to me like this is something i can literally cross off of my bucket list this is something like this is it man this is the big leagues for me like you know, I'm the world's closest second enthusiast. That's the way I see myself. You know, that's the way my fan base sees me. And the people in my community see me as the world's closest second enthusiast. But now, I feel it's I feel a little more validated in my title, if that makes any sense. I feel just to even receive a, a, a some type of response, I feel more validated. If you're new here, if you can subscribe, that'd be really awesome. We're trying to reach 300 subscribers. You'd be helping us out a lot. Make sure to share this video with your friends to become a super slayer. Uh, if you see anyone down in the comments below saying they don't believe Sonic 3 is one game now, uh, feel free to tell them they're wrong and that Yuji Naka, or if you see anyone anywhere online saying they don't believe, um, they don't believe Sonic 3 is one, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is one game, send this video to them, uh, tell them they're wrong and, uh, yeah, you're wrong. Sonic Korean Echoes is one game, says the creator. Uh, until next time, um, make sure to share this video with your friends. I've been the world's coolest second enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64. And until next time, have a good one, Slayers.